Welcome to part two of my smart home renovation tour. If you guys missed part one, I added a new smart fridge and thermostat into my smart home setup. But today I'm gonna to show you guys two more items that I've added. And again, thank you to Home Depot for sponsoring today's video as well and helping me transform my home into the ultimate smart home. So I'm starting things off outside today with my brand new Schlage Encode lock out here. And the beauty of these type of locks is that you get keyless entry. So you just gotta put in a pin code and the door will open up. But that's nothing really new to me because the one I had before was also keyless entry. For me, all the fun with this one comes when you connect it to the key by Amazon app. But before all that, I set it up. Installation was pretty easy. It took about 20 minutes, I would say. And thankfully, it fit perfectly in the door. So it was all good with that. But yeah, after that, I connected it to Wi-Fi and then the app and you get a whole bunch of other functionality added to the door beyond just keyless entry. You can set up to 100 different access codes for different guests. So you're guaranteed that everybody in your household or whoever you want to give access to your home can have their own code so you don't have to share codes and I also love that once you're in the app it keeps an activity log of when the door was open and closed and who specifically opened it according to their code there's also a built-in alarm feature with the lock that you can toggle on and off within the app but probably my favorite feature out of all of it is the fact that you can unlock your door through Google Assistant or Alexa by voice. So let's say your hands are full and you can't get to the keypad or you're inside your house and you wanna unlock the door for somebody from your room, you can do that through Google Assistant or Alexa. Overall, I am loving this Schlage Encode lock and I'm pretty sure I've seen this on other doors before and just didn't really think much of it. But now that I've gotten a chance to use it more, it's really cool to see what it's capable of and it's definitely one of my favorite parts of my whole smart home setup. And now we're back inside the house in my main filming area that you guys probably recognize with a new Philips Hue setup that I put in here. Earlier this year, I threw some new furniture in here and some other decorative pieces. But when it comes to smart home tech, my Hue bulbs have always been a key component to tying together any of my setups. Home Depot sent over the Hue White Starter Kit, like the regular A19 bulbs that provide soft white lighting. So they don't do the color, they just do the soft white. And yeah, I've actually never used those before anywhere in the house. So those were new to me and it was kind of perfect for this room because I had two lamps in here that needed bulbs. You can actually see one over here that has a hue bulb in it right now. And yeah, like those lamps, they aren't the main lighting source in this room. I just needed to add, you know, extra lighting, just extra ambience to just relax and just get work done. But yeah, of course they look great. They added that extra little spicing up that I needed in this room. And I feel like a lot of you guys watching this probably already know what makes hue bulbs so cool and smart but if you don't basically the coolest thing about them is that you can control them from your phone after you set up your hue bridge you can go straight into the Philips hue app and start pairing up your lights in there and then control them in the app you can control brightness turn them on or off you can set alarms with the lights timers you can even do scenes of course which is really fun so if you like your lights a certain way for when you're working or reading or just relaxing you can do all of that through there and yeah to me they're just such an essential thing in this house so when Home Depot sent them over I just had to mention them because they're truly such an important piece of tech that I feel like any smart home needs but that is it for now I do want to continue my setup process and keep making things smarter in here so if you guys have any ideas for me let me know in the comments below and again shout out to Home Depot for making all of this possible make sure you check out the links below if you want to transform your own home thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later